What is up guys, my name is Theo, and today we are talking about how to fix that pixelation artifacting that you get when you export your videos out of DaVinci Resolve. So stick around. But first, for those of you guys who don't know me, again, my name is Theo, and I do a lot of photo and video content here on this channel. Um, I am also a Fujifilm shooter as well, so if any of that interests you guys, definitely stick around. I do have a lot of stuff coming here in the very near future. Now, kind of just jumping right into it, guys. So, this whole weird pixelating, artifacting, black and gray, kind of weird color, blotchy kind of square thing. I don't even know what to call it. That's the best description that I can give. Uh, but I've been dealing with it uh, with DaVinci Resolve for quite some time. DaVinci Resolve has definitely been kind of like a blessing and a curse. Um, a blessing because they do offer their free version that's got me by for quite some time. And a curse just because because I didn't really know what this artifacting thing was or how to fix it. So if you kind of go back on some of my videos from quite a while ago, I ended up posting videos with this artifacting in it because I could, didn't know how to get rid of it and I didn't want my I didn't want the video that I made to go to waste. So you can imagine just how frustrating this really could be. Luckily, the thing has been kind of hit or miss for me. It doesn't really happen all the time, so it hasn't really happened. Uh, when I've had any kind of work for any kind of client, so I am super grateful for that. But as I said, I've been dealing with this issue for quite some time and I've been looking all over YouTube for videos on what this is and how to, and how to fix it. And I haven't really seen anybody talk about it. Uh, I've seen this kind of pixelation before on some other videos and people that I know who do use it DaVinci Resolve and they couldn't explain it, they didn't know what it was. But I was finally able to reach out to a guy named Lewis uh, who works for the Shuttershock Tutorials YouTube page. Um, he'd been posting a couple of videos on like just basic tips for DaVinci Resolve. Turns out he's actually a certified instructor for DaVinci Resolve. Um, and he seemed pretty active in his comment section so I figured I'd give, him a, give it a shot and ask him and see if he knew what it was or how to fix it and uh, it was actually him that gave me the answer on kind of like this temporary fix I guess you could say that, that gets rid of this artifacting uh, at least until uh, Blackmagic can put out a firmware update or uh, at least find out about it I guess I don't again I've been looking all over no one's really talking about it so um, hopefully this video can at least uh, get to somebody who works out there and they can let some people know so that they can kind of start working on this because it is kind of frustrating because it does kind of limit you on how you can export your videos. But back to what Lewis uh, was saying, uh, his suggestion or his solution for this issue was to export your video in the H.265 codec as opposed to the H.264. Um, he didn't really know why either, he just knew it was a kind of like a random phenomenon. So again, I don't know if DaVinci Resolve is even aware about this. I hope that they are so that they can put out a fix for this. Um, but for those of you guys who are out there posting your videos for YouTube or actually working for clients in DaVinci Resolve, um, exporting in H.265 uh, will actually get rid of, uh, at least it has for me, but it actually will get rid of that random pixelating artifact in your videos. Another tip that I kind of figured out on my own um, is that I would get this kind of random thing happening uh, when I would post like a solid color background on my videos. So say if I was posting a picture and I had it on a white background, I would get it a lot on the color white or black um, that I would have behind my photos. Um, so the tip that I kind of figured out to get rid of it in those situations is not picking completely white when you're picking a solid color. Just move that slider just up literally one notch so it's like technically off white. It's still it's still gonna look white. It's not the change is minimal. And same on the on, on the dark side. And same on the black end. Just lift the uh, the shade um just literally one number up from black and that slight shift has gotten rid of it a couple of times in my videos. It doesn't, it didn't always work, but this is for when you are exporting in the H.264 codec. Um, this is before I even knew the solution that Lewis told me about, but um, just another tip for you guys. If you guys need to export in H.264, uh, this is something that, can, that might help you out because it kind of has worked sometimes for me, but if you don't mind H.265, that's just the way to go. The files are actually even smaller, so that's kind of another benefit from doing that as well. Uh, but that about does it uh, for this one guys if you guys did get something out of this and this uh, video was helpful to you definitely hit that like button it is much appreciated but other than that i will see you guys in the next one later